Kepler 12 Futurecast. Well, the winning weather streak certainly has come to an end. We have a day like this. You can see uh, just... Uh, what kind of weather we can get in early autumn by just shifting the winds to the northeast. We've got a disturbance well to our south that's bringing some light rainfall to our area and we're tracking and moving in that combined with the overcast skies that northeast wind making for a cool and dreary day. Now the rainfall is not particularly heavy here and we're not expecting that to change over the rest of the daytime. It may actually ease up for a few hours later this afternoon, but we really do need the rainfall. Our area considered to be in a moderate drought with September so far just over half an inch of rainfall where the normal is more than three and three quarters of an inch. So we have a more than three inch rainfall deficit here as we round out the month and so far today just a few hundredths of an inch of rain. In fact some updated information we're now up to uh, six hundredths of an inch of rain in Providence, five hundredths of an inch in Smithfield, just a hundredth of an inch of rain in Newport. So very minimal amounts despite the fact that we've been dealing with these light showers throughout the entire morning hours and we do expect that to continue both today and into tomorrow. Uh, Threat tracker here for any soaking rainfall, severe thunderstorms, very low. We'll just be dealing with these uh, scattered rain showers over the next couple of days. Here's the view from Providence. Gray, dreary, and only 58 degrees. And when you add in the wind, it feels like 56. So back to sweater weather today. 58 in Coventry, 60 Newport, 59 in Westerly and Ninigret. Our cold front that brought the end of the warm weather sitting to our south and our storm system that's well south of us drying in that moisture into southern New England and bringing us the light rain showers. Another disturbance that will pass through here later tonight into tomorrow. And so that's where we're going to keep the rain showers around. This is at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So noticing those scattered showers again may be easing up for a little bit. I still keep the umbrella handy through the rest of the day today. Overnight tonight still the chance for some scattered showers and a little bit more in the way of rainfall expected for tomorrow. Some of our computer models even showing uh, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch of rainfall possibly uh, falling in spots on Wednesday. So we'll keep an eye out for that. It is going to stay another a dreary and cool day. So we're looking at a low to mid 60s for this afternoon with that northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour down into the mid and upper 50s overnight tonight with showers lingering and some patchy fog and then only in the middle 60s for tomorrow another dreary day with those scattered showers in the forecast by Thursday we're still mostly cloudy but there's the potential for some breaks of sunshine by the end of the day and the temperatures in the middle 60s Friday looks like a nice finish to the week mix of sun and clouds in near 68 and then here we go for Saturday cold front that will likely bring some showers to our area. We're going to be fine tuning the timing of that front. Still our computer models leaning more towards the morning and early afternoon for Rhode Island and clearing off the coastline leading to a dry second half of the weekend. But temperatures over the next five to seven days with a lot of cloud cover around, especially through the end of the work week, will be running at or cooler than average. Average high this time of year, Danielle, is still in the upper